Hello everyone. I've been traveling on my bicycle for about five days through Virginia and I realized that I suffer from a condition. It's not a serious condition, but I've decided to name it Histomarkphobia. It's the fear of passing a historical marker without reading what it says. Here in Virginia, you find historical markers everywhere. They're along bike paths, they're in the middle of fields, they're down by the, by the roadway embankment, and I find myself stopping at, at all of them to see what it says. Here's the first historical marker that I came across, right outside the door at the Williamsburg Airport. I hadn't even gotten on my bicycle yet, and I found myself reading a historical marker on the property of, of, the, uh, of the airport. Virginia must realize that a lot of people suffer from this condition because many times they group their historical markers together so that you can read them all in one, one stop. Sometimes the historical markers are interesting, such as this one, which some fool pushed his bike down a roadway embankment to read this historical marker about cannon or artillery, artillery placements around the city of Richmond. It's interesting to note that the cannon in the background is pointing at the Richmond International Airport. <laughs> I think it's a weapon that TSA has failed to pick up yet. Some of the markers aren't very interesting. Here's a marker that just says that Lafayette camped here one night. So really, nothing happened here. <laughs> anyway, hopefully, as this trip goes on, I'll have the strength to start passing historical markers without reading every word that's on them. Because here in Virginia, it's taking a lot of my time to read all of these historical markers. Thanks for your, for your interest. And... Uh, uh, I'm having a great time on my trip. I will keep you posted. See ya.